sorority row. And, um, girl that used to be on, um, God, what was the show called? Real World. She was in it. Um, girl that was in Step Up 2 is in it. And the rest of the people, um, I do not know now. So, anyways, um, sorority row for college students in their junior year of school and for white women. I don't know if that means anything. So, yeah. Um, so they play this prank, almost like Jawbreaker-esque. They play this prank Actually, that's okay. So they played this prank on um on their friend's brother. Their friend is along with it, um, but then in a fateful twist of events, either he is on drugs or he is trained to be on drugs. Anyways, so while they're taking her to a different site, um, it turns out that um. She's actually not passed out. She just pretended to be. Actually, it's not her brother. I don't know why I thought it was her brother. Oh, wait, no, it's one of the girl's brothers. Anyways, um, it's like her date or whatever, but it's the brother of one of the girls. Anyways, so. Um, oh my god. So yeah, um, it's her date. So, anyways, they go to the site to dump her. And when they're turning around thinking of a plan, um, it's just as goofy as it sounds. When they turn around trying to think of a plan and um, they're clamoring on, you know, talking. And then they actually um, are clamoring so much and the brother's like freaking out, trying to figure out a plan. Um, And then um, while they're doing that, eventually the brother who, not the brother, yeah, the brother of the guy, we'll just call him that. Um, he freaks out so much that he ends up picking up a tire iron and putting it into her chest, which kills her. Everybody freaks out because they're like, what are you doing? Um, he's like, oh no, I killed her. And it's like, yes, you actually did. This is the dumbest character because he is the reason for all of this happening in the first place. So anyways, after like they finish burying her because the head um, the head girl in charge, because nobody has a backbone. Um, yeah, the head girl in charge, she um, finishes the job because she could have been sub, uh, saved. Yeah, she ends up finishing the job and then um, Yeah, she ends up finishing the job. And uh, then it turns out that um, she wasn't actually dead. Spoiler alert. And um, so the head girl finishes her off. And then everybody freaks out. Like there's one girl that's supposed to be the nerdy girl just because she's wearing glasses. Can you be visually challenged and not smart? I, I don't understand the correlation. Anyways, this is 2009. So, um, and um, yeah, so she ends up really freaking out, which is so helpful. And, um, They all go back to the college dorm and then they all make it seem like um, she went missing. She didn't. 
And it's one person that did it by an accident because he thought she was already dead, which is still stupid. But then the main girl in charge ended up, like, finishing the job. So, like, it's essentially her fault. Because she was the ringleader for this stupid prank anyways. So, yeah. Um, they do that. And, um she goes missing the girl that they had killed by an accident and like her sister and her family are looking for her trying to figure out where she is don't worry guys she actually is dead and um so yeah um they actually going about their lives and like it's like it says in the movie that like a year passes they had to fill the gap somehow but they say a year passes and um they're in their last year of college they kind of went their separate ways some of the one girl left the sorority actually two left the sorority the other ones stayed because they were afraid they were going to be exposed for just simply existing in the thing um, and then weird things start to happen, like, I know what you did last summer type vibes, um, which I think, I think that's what they were trying to go for. Didn't work. So, ooh, see, really good in the camera. Anyways, um, so yeah, weird things start happening, like, if you've ever seen I Know What You Did Last Summer, it's like that. Um, so yeah, weird things start happening. Uh, the girls, like, yeah, kind of start coming up missing and whatnot. And, um, use this. And certain things start getting exposed. And then, like, it actually turns out um, that her sister is going to be coming to the college. Uh, she was scouting it out. Uh, turns out, revenge. And I gotta be honest, I haven't watched the movie in a very long time. So, I don't know what happens at the end. I just know all of them, except for one, ends up, like, getting killed. And, um... So yeah, but yeah, they all end up getting offed in some way. The movie intensifies. One of the girls goes to her therapist to talk. She doesn't actually mention it, but she is having relations with the therapist. Um, almost giving you like Scream Six vibes with how her and her therapist interact. Except in Scream Six, her her therapist weren't like close like that anyways so one of the girls uh her therapist ends up dying which is like we just met her therapist why are we killing the therapist we we just met him five minutes ago is there a reason why we're killing the therapist oh we don't have a reason we're just killing the therapist just to kill the therapist that's mean so like therapist lives matter too so actually let me see and then um the brother of the guy I okay, got the guy the brother of the girl um he ends up uh going missing and he ends up getting killed too Just doing mascara the day that I can't ever find my eyeliner, my good one. But yeah, the brother ends up going missing. Um, bodies start falling, and one girl who had nothing to do with them, she actually ended up going missing too. 
of longest, I was like, maybe it's the head girl in charge killing them all off because she um doesn't want anybody to tell. And I was like, maybe it's her sister, which makes sense. She wants to get revenge for her sister and she figures out that it actually was her friends that did it. Um, which the movie is on HBO Max, so if you wanna watch it, it's on HBO Max. Uh, anyways, turns out it's a sister. I don't really remember what happened. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the movie. So, if you haven't seen the movie, uh, it's on HBO Max. Do it that way you will. You may enjoy it. Um, it's not written that great. It's not acted that great. It's like very B, she level. You can rewatch it though plenty of times. It's very rewatchable. It's just, they could have done better, but it came out during the time when they were just shelling out teen movies. Or uh, my favorite genre, which I don't think I've heard anybody call it, teen horror rom-coms. Well, there's a slight bit of romance, but there's horror, but then there's teens in it. So teen horror rom-com. I hate the way I say horror, but it was the movie. Everybody gets off except for the girl that was totally against it. She does get injured, and the girl, the head girl that was in charge of like the friendship, she gets gone. Um... The girl that did drugs and um, had in relations with the therapist, she gets gone. Her brother gets gone too. So there's like four people. Uh, some random girl gets gone that we didn't even really know, which is like, she didn't even do anything rude. So anyways, if you actually wanna watch the movie, you can watch it on HBO Max um because that's where i watched it and i before i had watched it on tubi so you know take your pick i don't think it's on tubi because tubi has like a time stuff and i have oh, and i have browse stuff that was like my favorite oh i actually did it right a way that i would like it Yeah, I actually did it good. Okay, so I may not be have been able to find my brow stuff, but I found my blush stuff. And it should still have it now, but it's NYX Sweet Cheeks. So granted, I did a little bit too much cheese. Just, whew. It's not that bad, is it? If it is, I'm just going to delete this. Anyways, so if you want to watch Sorority Bro, it's on HBO Max. Maybe it's on Tubi. <sighs> yeah, just I, I went a touch too heavy on it. It doesn't look bad though. Um, I'm gonna see you in the next video.